Hello everyone, Nathan here with Project Discovery presented by Collective Shift. This is our weekly recap of the best crypto and NFT projects that our research team discovered last week. We do this video five days a week for our pro members on the collectiveshift.io platform and you can head over to that website for more information. Hopefully this video is about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to go through each project, look at it at a high level, get their valuation proposition and move on. Let's get right into it. No time to lose. First up today is Aero Protocol on the Solana blockchain. We're allowing individuals, protocols, and DAOs to launch staking derivatives in which the redirect you and we in which we can redirect yield to a different address. We've seen money streaming and payment streaming um, promises on Layer Two as well as Polygon, and here we have now it on Solana. So we can redirect our yield to a different address. If we go up here to issue, looks like we can issue an Aero which is a token that represents a user staking liquidity on behalf of someone else. I stake some liquidity and I have a beneficiary over here who I want to redirect the yield to, um, which is wonderful. Ooh, rough. Aero protocol takes a 10% fee on all claim tokens. That's a bit much, but um, you know, very, very nice concept at least. We can select a sunny pool. They're using the sunny aggregator right now. So if we wanted, if we had sunny LP tokens, we could redirect that yield. So we could come in here and have a look at some of the two-sided liquidity pools select a beneficiary wallet and mint this arrow. I think there's also a staking of arrow selection um, or mechanism as well. We could select an arrow and we could, looks like we can en enter a mint address on their staking page. So very, very cool product. Um, launching staking derivatives for protocols you're already integrated with. They're integrated with Sunny Aggregator, which we'll look at it just a second. Actually, let's have a look at it right now. Aero protocol lets us redirect the Sabre yield, SBR, and also the Sunny yield, which is the Sunny aggregator um, uh, governance token or platform token. Clean little aggregator here for Solana. Really like this Sabre BTC, Ren BTC pool. Love a two-sided liquidity pool that has um, just BTC in it. But I digress. Um, Aero protocol giving us the ability to redirect the yield from our staked LP tokens on Solana. Very cool. Next up is Noundles. We have a crossover collection of an avatar collection between noun between nouns and doodles is the crossover. They're not affiliated with any of them. Um, they're very clean, very cool um, Web3 enabled website right here. They've written a formal proposal to the Doodle Bank, which I believe is a DAO or governing body related to doodles. You can mint a Noundle for 0.04 ETH. I won't connect my wallet right now. It might slow us down here. Um, and then also all Noundle holders can stake for rainbows. So this, they do have a ERC-20 token for the ERC-721 collection. Um, and then that Rose Rainbow token is grant them access to the Noundle Grail, which I assume is um, their community. They have information about the, uh, about the rainbows. You earn about four rainbows, or you do earn four rainbows uh, per day for each Noundle staked. And the Noundles look pretty cool. Love the little crossover guys. So another avatar collection. Um, this one a crossover. That was loading a little slow, but that was the Noundles uh, bank um, proposal that, that was there. Next up is proper nouns. They have their own, they have, this is a, also a bit of a crossover, somewhat derivative collection of unique and specific nouns that are fully on chain. It's obviously inspired by the nouns DAO, so we've gone from nouns to proper nouns. We found those last week. Discord, Discord currently is invite only, uh, but you can DM them for access if you're interested. And I think we have the Noundles landing page here, but we just have a landing page and no information for us. Next up is the Metaverse Adver Ad uh, Advertisement DAO, or MAD, M-A-D. They're creating real business value in the Metaverse, maximizing benefits for all the community properties and sharing prof uh, profits with, it, with their members or the MAD token holders. So they've got their white paper out. This is coming soon. We could become an OG, join their Discord. We could also read their white paper. Let's have a look at their white paper really quickly. And here it is, written in November 2021, the Metaverse Advertisement DAO White Paper. 
decentralized autonomous organization to facilitate revenue generating business in the metaverse by utilizing virtual real estate assets in advertising. So we're going to be bringing advertising to crypto, which it's been a nice run without it, but no longer. MAD provides a value exchange platform for virtual world landowners, players, commercial companies alike, optimizing the utility of community-owned assets while sharing profits with DAO members. Cool. So we could be part of the DAO, own MAD tokens or NFTs, depending on which way they go. Um, and we could share in the profits that um, the Metaverse Advertisement DAO makes through their operations. So very cool. Hopefully, I bet you they'll be working across Decentraland, Voxels, the Sandbox, um, and hopefully one or two others. Moving on to Mu Zero, we got a museum DAO created by an alien, an alien punk, and curated by artists and collectors. So this is built specifically for artists and collectors. It's an internet museum. Let's check out their mission, and actually, then we'll check out the coll collection next. Their documentation. It was inspired by members of Flamingo DAO, so you know it's very crypto native, which is really nice. That's a little, that's quite bullish. <coughs> With the aims of building a modern internet native museum to preserve and archive the NFTs for future generations. The initial DAP, which is going to be Mu Zero, along with the underlying smart contracts, was built by Open Law. Wonderful. So they're going to have a seasons of this different Mu Zero. Looks like um, oh, Mu Zero launched back in June. Interesting. So hopefully they've been building and adding to their collection. And there we have, we've got squiggles in here, singularities, apparitions, a lot of generative um, uplocks pieces. We've got a crypto voxel piece of land, ETH addresses. So a de decent little decent little collection here for Mu Zero and the Mu the Internet Museum. Next up is Clarity. This is an all-in-one workspace for decentralized teams, and I think we're going to have a renaissance here for decentralized working um, and collaborative work. Um, collaborative work. This is freeform documents and structured project management in a single collaborative workspace. Clarity.so. I think we're pre-launch, um, or at least I haven't been able to see any um, user interface, and I probably haven't signed up. The simplest workspace for decentralized teams, easily plan projects, track tasks, stay organized across a decentralized team. And we've got some testimonials here. It's been on Product Hunt, and I think this will add to um, a revolution in the coming years of decentralized teams working together in, in far more efficient ways than we are now. So that's clarity.so. Next up is Project Apollo. We have a mainnet launching soon for free peer-to-peer -peer trades. So free peer-to-peer -peer NFT trades from Project Apollo. No fees for portal holders. So if you hold a, hold a portal NFT, you can come and trade on Apollo for free, which is nice. Let's have a quick look at their website if they have one. Uh, we just have an exp a medium post and an explanation of what's going on. So they're going to be a platform that we can operate without fees, which they introduced themselves on November 1st. Moving on to Snowflake Network, we have an on-chain automation platform for Solana. Snowflake.so we can schedule, automate, and connect hundreds of smart contracts in one unified on-chain platform. They've got a demo for us that I won't go through now, and they've also got a DAP coming soon. So hopefully Solana and Layer 2 Ethereum can really unlock the, um, the power of on-chain automation. Sorry about the slowness. Here's next up is VERS. Wallets relate to transactions. This is creating a passport for our identity on Solana at VERS.app. Here it is. We could select our wallet, which would be the Phantom wallet because it's awesome. We'll quickly, quickly log in here. We'll allow it to connect to our wallet. We'll approve it. And then we've got our Metaverse Passport Authority here. So now we're logged in um, 
with Solana and we have our little passport here. If we go back to, here we go. So here is, oops, just took a little bit to load. Here is the platform and user interface for Verse. I can have a look at my NFTs. I can have a look at other people's NFTs. Actually, I think these are other people's NFTs. We can have a look at NFT collections as well. So here's Nothing, who's the co-founder of Verse. We could add wallets to track, and then I've also got a profile here up in the top right-hand corner. So it's early days, but pretty much we've got the first examples of a social media platform using our Web3 wallet on Solana with Verse.app. They call themselves the Metaverse Passport Authority. So pretty clean little user inter interface, but very, very limited in, in its experience. Next one up is Ask Mirror. Search and discover for Mirror at askmirror.xyz. And this is actually for mirror.xyz. It's a search tool. We're able to come in here, really have a search by tags, and pretty much go through the platform that's calling themselves the future of publishing, Mirror being a decentralized publishing platform for Web3. We'll quickly close some tabs there. Moving on to Slice. This is a decentralized slicing platform and pretty much NFT fractionalization is what they're selling. Decentralized stores for products and service with NFT based ownership. Really, really like this. If you own a slice of an NFT or a store in this case, you'll earn ETH based off those um, revenues of that product or service. So here it is, we could start slicing and pretty much NFT, uh, put any asset in here, slice it up and create NFTs for this. Hold slices, you'd earn ETH. They're calling them semi-fungible tokens or fractionalized NFTs, which makes sense. They are ERC 1155s. And with this, they're, they're having a whole concept of let's not just fractionalize NFTs and profile pictures, let's create decentralized stores of products, services, where you can sell anything and then fractionalize those proceeds. So we have slicers, slices, and then product stores. They've got examples down here for files, payments, startups and DAOs, merchandise, writers, games, music artists, and I believe it all. I really, really like this project. It was a really good find last week. So we've got Slice, a decentralized slicing platform, creating decentralized stores. Next up is Rarity Mint, the ultimate platform for traders, collectors, and creators of NFTs. I do think this might be a tokenized platform, so it is private. Yes, yes it is. So you will have to sign up, put in your Twitter handle, and be kind of accepted into the beta. Next one up is Lemon Odyssey got a pre-launch avatar collection. Here is their website, very custom website. We've, here is an example of the avatars that we would be purchasing, the, the, the Lemon Odyssey avatars. And I believe we have a backing. They've got a partnership with Distopunks, which is very cool. And actually, if I, they're powered by the Lemon platform. And actually, if I go back, well, their partnership with the DistoPunks um, looks very, very interesting. It looks like they'll be able to, um, along with the DistoPunks, play in a little 2D game um, in the future. I believe they also have VC backing as well from Lemon Odyssey. Next up is Angry Apes United. 8,888 Angry Apes. Sold out in 13 minutes, they said. Let's check out their website. There's what the apes look like. They were purchased for 0 0.07 ETH. I believe we have a, a, a anonymous team. They have their jungle token for each of their angry apes. Each angry ape yields 20 jungle tokens a day. Now we have a public team, excuse me, not an anon anonymous team. We do have a public team for angry apes. And I do think, I thought we had um, backing by a VC, but I think that was actually the last project. 
So they do have a partnership with LandVault, which is very, very nice. LandVault's um, becoming a trusted name within crypto and the metaverse. Next up is Backdrop. Um, this is decentralized social media that people are, that they're giving alpha to if you want to hit them up in their Discord. Here we go, connecting the builders of the future. And here is um, kind of what's going on with me. Um, I believe it gives information on what we're voting on for Snapshot. So it's decentralized off-chain voting organization platform where it's showing me six days ago I voted for Badger, voted for Bankless, voted for Badger again in Bankless, Get Gitcoin. Um, and it's really organizing the projects that I vote on on snapshot.org. So very, very cool concept there um, with, who was this? With Backdrop, connecting the people through their work and contributions. They're calling themselves the, themselves the Etherscan for on-chain work. Moving on to Tiny Kingdoms. I believe these are launching very, very soon, if not today. We've got on-chain, flags on-chain, coming to a wallet near you. Let's check out the little, um, here's the little decentralized application. To claim your flag, we can go to Etherscan, connect to the contract, press the right button on the contract, and also claim, and then claim them for 0 0.025 ETH. Awesome. We could get ourselves a little decentralized flag stored on chain. Next up is Axial, the new center for liquidity on Avalanche. Here is their website. It's a clean little decentralized exchange. We've got a place to swap um, stable coins. So we have a st stable coin swapping platform, anything from Frax, Magic Internet Money, Teddy Dollar, to our normal stable coins. We can provide liquidity as well and connect our wallet. I believe we're on, oh, we're on MetaMask, so we're on um, Ethereum, I believe, or excuse me, Avalanche. So we've got a decentralized swapping organization with a pretty clean little DEX here um, on Avalanche. Next up is Deegan Daily. Deegan Daily is a decentralized media platform funded by an NFT and ran by the holders. Their website, NFT, is under construction. And their ETH address is DeganDaily.eth. I believe they do hold Twitter spaces quite often where they chat Degan Daily if you want to be part of that community before they launch. Next up is Climate Crypto. Thanks to Climax, Climate X Crypto, we have a website of the same name. And this is a directory of initiatives at the intersection of climate change and crypto. We have things like ClimaDAO, leading carbon backed digital currency, things like Crypto Trunks. Offsetra. The climate crypto climate accord. Save Planet Earth, Patch.io, Carbon Swap, which is the leading DEX on energy web chain. So quite a list here. Regen Network, Earth Fund. We've got quite a list here of, of um, organizations that are at the intersection of the environment, conservation, and crypto. Next up is Only Memes. We've got a next generation of social media built on Web3. I forget if we're pre launch here. Let's check out OnlyMemes.io. Here is the website unleashing the true potential of Ethereum utilities to provide a social environment on the blockchain. We could sign in, which would take me to MetaMask. Let me quickly press the connect button. And we're in. Don't know if there's much to do here on the website so far. If I click on the beta, unfortunately, the beta is not letting us in at the moment. Oh, it actually takes us down the bottom. So to get into the beta, we would need a beta tester NFT. So we could purchase this beta, tater, beta tester NFT for 0 0.25 ETH on their platform. If you purchase this, you'll also be able to take part in a reward system for every bug you find during the development phase. Uh, be worth 50 bucks. Pretty cool. They got three different only memes coin incubator tokens: the SEC, the Goon token, and the Peppy Inu token. Decent names, like the SEC token. So we've got the only memes platform, and I think they're going to be a launchpad for meme tokens. If you want to be a beta tester, you can buy a 0.25 ETH 
testing NFT, and that will get you in there, and you can help them report bugs um, and earn their platform governance tokens. Moving on to beverage finance, this was pre-launch earlier this week. Looks like they're having a fair launch yesterday um, on 11, on 11, November 14th, excuse me, with their drink token. And here's their platform. We can earn drink rewards by staking uh, drink or ratio moon, linketh moon, ratio doom. Wow. We could put um, 2x longs on link ETH, ETH BTC. Well, let's do that. A nice 2x long on ETH BTC. We could liquidity mine like we were just looking at. We could also stake our drink and get X drink token to earn the fees from the platform. So it looks like we're giving the ability for traders um, to go long on e on different pairings, including ETH, Link ETH, ETH PTC, Maker ETH. So we've got leverage products. They said they had a fair launch. They're built using the SET protocol. Pretty clean little platform here with Beverage Finance. Next up, we have, have X, FXHash. This is a platform to mint generative tokens on the Tezos blockchain, and it seems like Tezos is not going away, especially related to NFTs. Currently in beta, let's check out the beta. The beta is really clean. Open platform to create and collect generative NFTs on the blockchain, on the Tezos blockchain. Looks like 250 have already been minted of Mons, this generative, plat this generative art. Here's all their recent works with the number minted for each of them. So we could check out the marketplace. Everything's valued in TEZ or TEZ. We could also sync our wallet and then also try out the sandbox as well. We could drag in um, a zip file if I know how to do this um, for the correct type of zip file for your piece of art. And then it would see what this platform uh, would, do, would do to it. Very, very cool. So open platform to create and collect generative NFTs on the Tezos blockchain. Next up today is Kingship. This is a decentralized record label. It's a blank NFT, it's a blank Twitter account at the moment, but it is done with by Universal Music Group. They're forming Kingship, the first ever group consisting of NFT characters from the Board Ape Yacht Club. So we have a music group, a Web3 label, record label, that is built with Bored Apes, for Bored Apes. I believe they're owned by one address called jimmy.eth, um, and just fascinating to see what they will come up with in the future, especially how they're related to with Universal Music Group, really going to put them in the forefront. So we'll see what happens here with the group called Kingship and the Four Apes and Universal Music Group. Next up today is Water and Music. This is an innovator's guide to the music business. So currently they're a paid newsletter morphing into, this is the cool part, morphing into a tokenized music industry research collective with Seed Club. And people that are in crypto and probably watching this video, we know Seed Club. They're a DAO that's at the forefront of crypto, building, creating new things, um, and clearly they're working with Water and Music to decentralize their paid newsletter. Let's have a look at their newsletter. Here's their website. We actually go back to their link tree real quick. They have two things for paid newsletters, a 2021 music crypto dashboard and a 2021 music tech investment dashboard, which would, they're both for paid people at the moment, would be fascinating. Moving on from water and music, and there is coming up to, uh, is mini drops. Now mini drops is a platform that's doing just that. They're doing mini drops weekly. We can come in here. They're doing collections of 100 to 1,000 NFTs on Solana, Ethereum, Phantom, and other chains. We have plastic, plastic punks as well. I think we have three collections so far. Yes, we have acid skulls, plastic punks. They're all very somewhat cheap. They're at 0.3 souls. We have thrown. Um, we also have wavy punks. I believe they drop. When do they drop? Let's see next drop. Next drop is the plastic punks. And looks like there there's a couple of drops a week, or at least there's one drop weekly. So very very cool um, independent platform. They're currently dropping on Solana at the moment, 
but they say they will be dropping on Ethereum, Phantom, and Arbitrum as well in the future. Next up is Rarity Scan. This is two products kind of in one. We have Mint Feed and then Rarity Scan, two separate things. First up is, looks like Rarity Scan is first. And here we have a place to look at the collections of all the different um, NFTs out there and look at the rarities. It is a bit slow rarity scan, I will give it that. But here is um, the beginning of their NFT collection, or their NFT marketplace, excuse me. Additionally, we have Mint Feed, which shows us statistics and analytics on NFTs from a bunch of different blockchains, which is really interesting. Here are the blockchains they break it down by, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Phantom, Ethereum, Binance, Polygon. Oh, and their roadmap is uh, not accessible at the moment. Looks like we also have an upcoming drops page as well, which is pretty clean. Here's upcoming drops for, for different NFTs, and actually are any of these in November? Well, hopefully they drop some in there for November. Moving on, another n moving on to the next organization. Let's, let me get to their Twitter account so we can start there if they have one. They do have one. It's called Pawtherium, uh, literally Paul, Ethereum almost. They have their own nice little website called PawSwap, where you can deposit your Poth token, P-A-W-T-H, um, and earn additional Poth token. They also have a clean little swap platform here. They are a charity organization um, based around animal conservation and donating to animal charities, which is very cool. And if we go to, let's go to the about page real quick. So hopefully this takes us to documentation. Takes us to the website. Awesome. So earn passive income while animals get saved. Decentralized community-run charity cryptocurrency project that gives back to animal shelters and advocates for the well-being of animals in need. Very, very cool. Just last week they did they, they donated about 80,000. They're already up to 130,000 donated to charities and shelters. Moving on to StemsDAO. This one's pre-launch and kind of stealth. Not too stealth, but we have a Web3 DAO music label, and that's kind of all we know. So I wanted to keep track of that one. Next up, probably probably a gem of the week, is goodmorning.xyz or gm.xyz. This is a user-owned and operated social network. Very, very cool. It's a Reddit fork, and as you can see, it looks exactly like Reddit, that has tokenized communities as well. So these are, these are private. If you want to get into the bankless one, you will need the bankless token. If you, need, if you want to get into the bonsai one, you will need a Zen FT bonsai, um, and so on. But let's go to the alpha channel. I think that's open to everyone. And as you can see, we've got a Reddit fork. It's really, really clean. We've got upvote. We've got downvotes. Cop capabilities. We've got comment capabilities. So, very, very clean beginning to a decentralized social network that I logged in with with my MetaMask, my Web3 wallet. Moving on to probably something. I think we have a stealth team here. Enabling broad access to the benefits of decentralized ownership. Fully docs team launching a token in early 2022, but we are stealth. We don't know too much more ab about it. Here's obtainable. This is for drops and platform updates, um, or excuse me, this is an NFT and digital collectibles platform. We can go to obtainable.io to check out that platform, which we will right now. Very, very clean NFT platform. We can come down here, we can join the Discord, be part of the community. They do drops every Tuesday and Friday. Everything's priced in ETH. If I wanted to come down here and actually go and buy something, the cool thing about this platform is oh, OpenSea rejected the, um, the link. Well, the cool thing about this platform last week was that whenever, anytime we would come in here to click on one of these NFTs to purchase, um, Obtainable had created an OpenSea fork, I thought, but looks like their API is just messed up. So that's too bad, we can't show you that. 
Moving on. Moving on to plottables. This is pen plottable NFTs powered by Arplox, which is very, very bullish. Currently, the, um, they're on the Ropstein testnet. They're on-chain generative art with a pen theme. It's a very, very cool custom website. We can go out over to plottables, or excuse me, to the gallery. Check out the first two pieces. These are both on Ropstein. And as we can see, they're two generative pieces of pen art. Um, and we could purchase these on, on, the, on the Ropstein testnet just for fun. So we are pre-launch. We could also try it out as well, and I won't do that right now, but it takes us to a custom plotting and generative pool, uh, tool that you could use if you had some, some um, coding art skills, which I don't. So very, very cool artwork, custom platform, and then they do have a custom tool as well with plottables. Here is Constitution DAO up next. In the coming, actually, on this this Thursday, um, Sotheby's is auctioning a rare print of the United States Constitution, and some people last week got together, started a DAO. Now they've started the People Token, and they want to buy it. Estimates of valuation of that Constitution was like fifteen to twenty million dollars. So they are galvanizing quickly, and in one of the best examples of um, kind of the rapid mobilization that DAOs enable is the Constitution DAO. They've gained 9,600 members, they've started a website, they've got a token, they've launched, they've raised 3.7 million or 820 ETH. Um, so very, very good example of an organization rapidly mobilizing to buy a rare piece of, a rare asset. I mean, in this case, they're going to tokenize it. So the gang fractionalizes the constitution is what they're calling it. Next up is Drools and Pixels, a fully on-chain um, collectible NFT collection of little pixelated characters. They've got a Discord. The first mint will be this weekend, so co this coming weekend, which will be nice. Fully on-chain art, created by hand, one-on-one, -on -one, a thousand pieces. Should be cool. And lastly, this week, we are talking about meme coins. So this first one is the good morning token. And the good morning token kind of kicked off a little bit of a meme season last week that I think will carry on into November and December um, on the back of Ch uh, Shiba and um, Dogecoin. Seems like we have a new generation of meme coin. And it's the reason I say that is it's not dog or cat related. Here we have the good morning token. Next up, we have the Goodnight token. We'll go back and check the charts. We also have the We Are Gonna Make It token, or We're Gonna Make It token. So the first one, the Good, the good Morning token, absolutely exploded. We're looking at the four-hour chart, and it started on November 9th, exploded, I think, to nearly over 300 million market cap, and it has dropped in the past coming in the coming in the last couple of days, excuse me, um, back down to about 181 million in market cap. It's got all the meme value you want, you know. It's got GM. It's available on Uniswap and now other exchanges, but not on the big ones yet. We've got about 23,000 followers. How many people in the Discord just saying good morning to each other? We've got about only 800 members in the Discord, so not too big on the Discord, but. If this thing has this thing may have the potential for um, escape velocity, well, continued escape velocity for a meme coin because we've already seen it explode. But of course, very very high risk. The next one is the good night token. Of course, we make a good morning token. The crypto has to make a good night token as well. So the good night token went up to we're only about a 4.5 million dollar market cap here for the good night token. Looks like it went up to probably around. 20 million um, and drop back down the last couple of days so we'll see how if these survive also very high risk and the last one is the good we're going to make it token after the first couple of days or actually after within the first day i think the devs rugged we popped up really high we dropped back down to virtually zero the next day so we started on november 11th dropped back down to nearly zero on november 12th and then i believe a few influencers on crypto on twitter excuse me banded together brought it back to life on November 12th, and now we're slowly got a pulse again. We're sitting at about $14.8 million. So not only do we have, we're going to make it meme value, 
Uh, we also have a good story here of a rugged project that's been brought back to life organically by the community and the meme, the meme gods love that kind of story. And that's it for today. So I did want to mention those last couple of meme coins um, with pretty decent shots um, if you believe in memonics and the power of the memes in good morning, good night, and we're going to make it. And I believe that is it for today. Thank you, everyone, that got this far. Sorry about the slowness of the video in the middle there. I um, really appreciate anyone that got this far and got through it. We had some really good projects last week. we are seen continue um, the themes of decentralized social media and increased utility with our NFTs. We had a meme season last week with Good Morning, Good Night, and We're Gonna Make It token, including a few others like CT token, crypto Twitter tokens out there as well. So very, very interesting week. And all of last week, crypto was sitting around $3 trillion, which has been fun. We're... We're almost in breakout. We're in breakout territory, and we're soon in escape velocity breakout territory for BTC and ETH. So, it'll be very interesting to wait um, and see what happens in December. Again, thank you everyone that got this far. Really appreciate you watching. We'll be back at it next week. Bye for now.